Hi, welcome back. What I want to show you now is how easy and inexpensive it is to build a list of potential buyers. Just watch this. The first step in the process is to go to the address book. And in the address book, we'll choose Build a Mailing List. Now, there are three steps in building a custom mailing list. The first step is to choose individuals, and then we'll select the area, the geography, in which we want to find those individuals. I'll search by zip code, and I'll type in my own zip code as an example. Next, we'll look at the demography of the persons that we want to find. So the first step will be to identify whether I'm searching for a homeowner or a renter. And I like to find renters because I want to find potential buyers. So I'm going to check renters. And I'm specifically looking for renters that have been in their properties for three or more years. Notice that this is continuing to narrow down the number of records that the system is bringing back to me. Now I'd like to specify the income level, and I'm looking for people who have an income level of $50,000 per year or more. Now the number of records is becoming quite manageable. Let's define our criteria a little more closely. We'll go to the other section, and we'll choose only those people who have a credit rating of 700 or more. Now the number of records is becoming quite manageable. We'll narrow it down just one more time by specifying the amount of net worth. And we'll look for people who have a net worth of $50,000 or more. Now you can see we have a very manageable number of records, 166. I think I'll buy that many. So I'm going to specify that I want to buy 166 records. And you can see that the total cost of the list is now $16.52. When I click Buy List, the 166 names will be generated and downloaded into my address book, ready for sending. Now, I have a card all ready to send to these folks, and so the 166 cards with a gold subscription are free, and it costs just $61.32 for postage. That's $0.37 cents each for the postcard rate. Well, that was pretty simple. Let's move on and take a look at how easy it is to build a similar list of potential sellers.